Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. This is my Easter weekend special. Oh, golden hour in its finest. Um, so yes, I am, I've got, a, I've got a couple of clips of today. Unfortunately today I had to go into work. Um, sorry, I'm just in the middle of trying to lock a door. There we go. Um, oh, I'm loving gold now at the moment. Um, anyway, um, to go to work today in a little bit of an accident where I managed to slice open my pinky and at lunch we were talking about how the fact that like we knew people that had like sliced open their fingers or like had big cuts on their hands and their arms and things and what do I go and do at work today? Slice open my finger. Um, so my little finger is a little bit painful um, but you know what? We move on. But I'm about to head out actually. I've got the dog around my feet. I don't think I've properly introduced you to the dog, but I will do at some point. Um, but yeah, I am about to go out for drinks. Do I to pick up some medication for my mum? There we go. There we go. And car keys. I've got my phone. I don't think I need anything else. The dog's been out. Cool, I need to grab a coat, but I think, well, other than that, we're always going to turn on the outside. Uh, no, I think we'll be fine. Excuse me. Uh, right, that's that. Turn that light off. Oh, hold on, coat. Where's, um, uh, channels. Oh my God. Right, hold on, I'll be back. Okay, right, back. We are now outside. I'm trying to hide my number plate from everybody. Um, front door is locked. Right. Um, so yeah, we are out to a drink party this evening. It is currently Good Friday. Um, oh, this house looks lovely. This is what I'm currently living at home with my mum. But I'm hoping to move to London very shortly. Um, but this house that she's at, lovely tree house. Gotta love the tree house. Um, cause my mum and I moved here. It'll be two years this August. Um, and previous owners had little kids um, and basically they left their tree house which as you can see is still up two years later it doesn't have a ladder we have been up there and had a look and it's perfectly fine it's perfectly stable um, but basically we've never been up there so that it just stays as it is we may get ladder for um because my some of my siblings have kids and so when they come up we might try and get a little like rope ladder or something so they can go up there um but currently we call it like the naughty corner um so yeah anyway i'm gonna i'll try and get some clips of this drinks party but it's a wonderfully glorious good friday um i've got my lipstick with me which is good as well the gate is open um so yeah right time to go to this drinks party and i'll try to get some clips but also trying to protect people's privacy and all that kind of stuff um i am yet to also get a car uh, a car mount is that the right word a mount for my phone to go in the car but hopefully tomorrow i should do basically a bit of online shopping tomorrow um as well as doing all the food prep for sunday so i might try and see if i can buy one then um, but yeah, other than that, I'll try and get some more clips of this evening. But yeah, welcome to this Easter weekend vlog. What a bright, beautiful evening this is this evening. And I how well the moon's going to come up on camera. But yeah, this is a lovely house. Illuminated with that outside lights. Doesn't it just look on an evening like today at the end of a long day? Um, and coming back from a lovely drinks party. Coming back to this view is just so good i am looking very bedraggled um but yeah welcome to this easter weekend vlog i'm very aware that i have not done any kind of introduction to this vlog there would have been some clips from yesterday that i got um as a little as a kind of pre-introduction to this video i guess is what you can call it i don't know anyway um it is currently what is the time it is half past 12 on Saturday um, of the Easter weekend. And um, what have I done this morning? Um, I had to go round to a friend's house to go and borrow one of their... Oh, what 
do you call it? Like pie, tart tins that have the like corrugated outside. Let me just show you. It's going to be easier. Um, these things and it has a loose bottom. Um, basically, because I'm making this tart thing for pudding tomorrow and I knew that they'd have them. So I had to go pop around to their house this morning. I then there's in the town near to us there is a market that happens every saturday so i popped into there and bumped into some other friends that we went to the drinks party last night i bumped into them and um picked up some fruit and some veg that i used to get i've got some grapes and some french beans excuse me um and then i had to go up to tesco's which was like a half an hour drive from where I was. And I picked up some bits. I picked up some lunch um, and some other little bits, some olives and things that I need to get because my mum, we're having people over for lunch on Monday as well. Um, and my mum had forgotten to get some bits. So I had to get some olives and things for her. I picked up some lunch. Um, so yeah, and I'm now back. I've just had my lunch. I had some, this like chicken katsu curry thing, which was really nice that I often have, um, when I'm working in the theatre and stuff, I often pick up one of these for my lunch. It is really nice. It has loads of vegetables, loads of nutrients, um, and is really healthy. And the chicken isn't actually battered in... Like with a normal katsu curry, you tend to have it sort of in that crispy batter type thing, breadcrumbs. But this doesn't have it. It's literally just a chicken, the sauce, loads of veggies, carrots, um, edamame beans, um, salad, rice, and the sauce and the chicken. It's just slightly healthier than um, than the normal ones you'd potentially get in somewhere like Wagamama's or any other Japanese Asian type restaurants. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm going to start prepping some of my food now. So I might put you up somewhere on a ledge somewhere and I either I'll probably do a couple of time lapses because I don't feel like I can necessarily talk you through all the things I'm doing but I will try and link all the recipes I use today down in the description box so that you guys whether you're trying them out for tomorrow um for your I say tomorrow this video is definitely going up after the Easter weekend um but yeah, if you want to try them for another meal, for when you're making lamb in the future, whether it be for Easter or for any other event or any of the other recipes I use today, you are they are on the BBC Good Food website. I can't even speak today. Um, so, yeah, so that's the situation today. Um, I'm just going to let my lunch digest. I'm going to watch a little bit more YouTube. Um, and I bought some Krispy Kreme, some Tesco's as well. So I just thought I'd treat myself. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I've got a little mm. anyway so yeah so I'm gonna spend another sort of ooh, like 25 minutes um just let my food digest having some having a donut um and then at probably about one ish I'm gonna crack on with making some of this food and doing this food prep there shouldn't be too much to do today um but I want to try and get as much done of, done today as I possibly can. Um, and then so that tomorrow I literally just have to bang everything in the oven. Um, we've got my grandparents coming over to tomorrow. Um, and they're coming for one o'clock. So I want to basically be able to have a chilled morning. And not have to rush and anything like that. Um, and it can just be a little bit chilled. Um, so yeah, so that's my plan. Um, and yeah. I'll catch you in a bit. I realise, before we get cooking, I realise I have never properly introduced you to Samba. So this is Samba. This is our little cocker spaniel. Um, and she is six. You probably really would have... Blah, 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 words. <laughs> um, you probably would have seen... Sorry, I've got her ball on the end of one of these ball throwers. She really wants me to throw it for her. But yeah, you probably would have seen bits of her in clips. Um, but yeah, I wanted to, to wanted to introduce you to her. Um, but yeah, right. Okay, so 
done a quick blitz of the kitchen because it was just there were just things everywhere and I actually just wiped down the surfaces and if you, once again I've got the dishwasher going on in the background um so uh sorry about the noise in the background that's the dishwasher going um but I might quickly put on I've got a basket of laundry here that a white wash that I might put on in a second as well just so everything's out of the way um but um I've got my laptop here and I think what I'm going to do today, just looking and doing a little bit of research online, um, I think it's best to probably leave me doing my Dauphine was potatoes, my carrots, and my, I'm doing like a mixed bowl of like green veg. And I think it's best to leave all my veggie stuff until tomorrow. Um, just looking at that online. Um, yeah. Um, and that should be fairly easy to do in the morning. Um, so, yeah, so I'll need to sit down tonight and just plan out exactly what time I need to um, start cooking and stuff uh, and start putting things in the oven. Um, so, yes, um, but today I am going to prep my leg of lamb. Um, and do that today and then I'm also going to make my tart um I'm thinking I don't know what order I'm going to do them in I mean I have to do both of them at some point today um but maybe I get my lamb out the way and done with so that can just sit and marinade I say marinade the lamb I'm doing I'm basically studying studying is that the right the word yes yeah, studying my lamb with garlic and rosemary so you basically make loads of incisions on the lamb and then you um like push in bits of lamb and rosemary lamb and rosemary garlic and rosemary mm -hmm. um so yeah so that's currently my plan and i might just then you're gonna have to wrap it up and i'm just gonna put it in the fridge and then give the surface another wipe down and then get on with my tart um so yes yeah, so i think that's the plan um and i might try and put you on time lapse and then play some music out of my laptop um to listen to um and i'll see if i can actually connect my laptop to um the radio um that might be an option right anyway i'm going to put you on time lapse um, I don't know actually where the best place to put you is so that you can see what's happening. I might stick you down here somewhere. Um, but yes. Um, yeah, cool. Right, here we go. Let's do some cooking. As you would have seen from those time lapses, I've now covered most of this lamb in garlic, rosemary, um, and I've put it in this ceramic dish type thing um, and covered it with cling film. And this is now going to sit in the fridge until tomorrow. And then I'm going to take an, it out of the fridge about an hour before I need it tomorrow. Um, so yeah, so that's my lamb done, ready to go. And hopefully all that rosemary and garlic will infuse into the lamb, hopefully. Um, but yeah, see you 
see how it goes. My first time making any, like doing any kind of lamb. So luckily I'm testing this out on family rather than like I've got something on my lip as well. Ooh. Ooh. Don't know what that is. Um but yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then I'm gonna get on with my chocolate tart. Okay, so I thought I'd actually do this bit with you. Um, and I will link the recipe down below. Mm. But I am now currently making what they call on the BBC Good Food website, the chocolate egg baked tart. Um, and I thought I'd do this one with you to make this vlog a little bit longer. So welcome to the baking with Mary section. So first we've got to make um, the base, which is I think what they're calling like a short, yeah. So they're calling it a shortbread base and it's basically made of butter, golden caster sugar and self-raising flour. Um, so I've got my, um, none of the ingredients I am currently using are sponsored by anybody in any way, shape or form. So anything like the Cadbury's mini eggs or anything or any of the flour or sugar that you see me use, none of it is sponsored, none of it is gifted, just to um, clarify that. So I've got to put the sugar and the butter and beat together until light and creamy. So 80 grams, no, 40 grams of golden pasta sugar. Okay. Oh. These scales are really annoying because they really fluctuate. Okay, so that's, let's put that one out of there. Put a little tap and it goes. Right, uh, hold on, I need to go and get the butter. I've left it in a warm spot. Right, I don't think this is quite soft enough, so I might have to pop this uh, in the microwave for like 10 seconds just to soften it up a little bit. Um, but let's get the wrapper off. I'm just using, in terms of when it comes to butter, I'm just using the um, Waitrose Unsalted Dairy Butter. Um, and it's recipes like this where if anybody else is lactose intolerant, you will completely get that this time of the year with Easter, it's so hard to find um, Easter eggs, chocolate, anything like that that is um, dairy free. And you can get um, lactase tablets from Holland and Barrett. But it's still like, well, and they really work for me, but it's just remembering to take them. I don't know if anybody else with a lactose intolerance finds that, or that has to take any other kind of medication. Um, but it is just really annoying. Um, but actually Cadbury's, not sponsored, nothing like that, do a dairy-free dairy milk that I have only found in Waitrose. I was in Tesco's this morning and I had a look to see if I could find the Tesco's. No, I popped into the co-op and the co-op don't seem to sell it that I could see, at least not in our one, um, maybe different for, to your local co-op. Um, but yeah, I couldn't find any, so... Might have to do a trip back to Waitrose. Right, so that's that sort of. I might as well weigh up my flour whilst that's... Is that still going? I might correct them some of fit. But yeah, I might have to do it. I'm going to take the dog out for a walk and I thought we'd go to the beach this afternoon. Um, just take the dog to the beach. She loves the beach. Um, she loves water. Mm. Right, that was difficult getting that out of there, I can tell you. Right, the butter. Um, oh! Right, okay. Let's pop that in there. I think I got it just at the correct time. I can go in the sink. We need to be washed up later. Okay. Oh! Luckily, I've got that. Right, okay. Um, this counter's just gonna <laughs> look messy. Uh, the butter's gotta stay, that sugar's gotta stay out. Right, um, 
I'm going to pause the clip now because you don't want to listen to this whirring away. Um, but yes, right, let's get this all beaten up. Okay, right, flour. So, um, 120 grams of flour. Self raising flour. Yeah. Right, there we go. I'm going to get a sieve. favorite sieve um this has been part of my baking um whatever you want to call it experiences throughout my whole life it's come with me through every single house since i ever started baking with my dad it's my dad that got me into baking um he was the one that really taught me and then a friend of mine that i'm very close with that i grew up with her grandmother um did a lot of baking with us so I think those two people were definitely my main influences um, when it came to baking. Um, oh, I don't know if that's if you're saying that in the comments. There's a lot of uh, flour in the air. Right, push the rest of that through the sieve. There we go. Right, let's mix this all together. Right, as the flour is going everywhere, I'm going to try and do this with a sort of spatula instead. I'm going to have to do this with my hands as well. Oh, it's starting to come together. Oh, hello. I'll have to slot that one of the tomatoes. Um, I feel like I always get very focused when it comes to baking. I don't intend to do a lot of cooking. Um, a lot of cooking. A Saturday, I tell you, because I went to this drinks party last night. I woke up this morning with a little bit of a hangover because I'd been cold turkey um, in terms of alcohol. If you don't know what cold turkey means, it basically means you go completely without something. It can be anything, whether it be alcohol or any kind of food or something in your life. You go completely without it for a certain amount of time and you just completely like stop. And that's what I did with alcohol for about three weeks. And that makes me sound slightly like I'm an alcoholic. I'm not. Um, I just, I tend to, um, whenever I'm out, tend to have, um, I tend to lean to more towards having a drink. Um, and so I've basically for three weeks, I went completely cold turkey and then had a drink last night and so i had a drink i had quite a lot of drinks last night um and um woke up this morning with a bit of a hangover um and this is not me saying that you need to have a drink um to have fun that is not what i'm saying at all um because I definitely believe in that. If I'm not feeling like, if I'm out with friends, I'm not feeling like I want to have a drink. Um, like, I think, I think I'm lucky that I have friends that um, don't judge you for whether you want to have a drink or not. Um, I think I'm very lucky to have friends like that. And that know that when I say I'm not into having a drink, they're like, yeah, that's totally okay. And I think they are also of the same mindset that you don't need to have a drink an alcoholic drink let me just clarify you don't need to have an alcoholic drink to be able to have fun and to enjoy yourself i very much feel like if i'm at a uh, a gathering of any kind whether i be going out for a meal with friends or whether i'm at a party or whatever it's the people that are gonna like help me to enjoy myself rather than like rather than alcohol and i think that i do tend um have people that i know that are very much like i have alcohol so that i can have a good time 
and like associate having alcohol um with like fun times good times which i think it can be i think it can i think that's a totally okay mindset to have as well but um but also i think we just got to be aware of what everybody else is and how much you know everyone is different when it comes to how much alcohol they can take before they it starts to really affect them um so yeah right this is my dough my shortbread dough and i'm gonna put this i'm gonna get my tin that was lent to me by our friends very generously this morning um yeah this is our nice little ball of dough make sure i get every last scrap up and then this has got to go in the fridge for 20 minutes um Right, that can sit in there. Let's do a bit of tidying up. Um, I think we're gonna need that in a minute potentially, but let's do a little tidying up. Um, right, let me go. Uh, I'll pick you up. Right, one tin. Um, bowl over here. Um, let me just check the recipe as far as I'm aware. I don't think I need to grease this. I think luckily this is one of those tins. Yeah. My God, it's so hot flat. Um, I don't know. Am I only supposed to pass the dough into the base of a... Ah, uh, I see. It's just the bit. That's why I'm pushing it up the sides. I don't need to push it up the sides. Okay, I'm with you. Right. I was like, I don't know. I was like, I don't have enough to cover the whole of the base. It's got. I was like, it's gonna be really thin. Like, did I read the measurements right? Ugh. But yeah, I think growing up, I always have loved baking. I think baking has been my one thing in life that I've really enjoyed. Um, I am definitely of the creative mindset, um, yet when it comes to baking I am such a perfectionist. I hate um, like I just want things to be so-so and especially if I'm following a recipe where they have like a dozen pictures of how um like the recipe has turned out when they've done the recipe <laughs> or how the um thing is supposed to look like or whatever if mine doesn't quite look like that i get very i put a lot of pressure on myself i think and i think that's part of like the inner perfectionist in me um that i definitely um get myself so like I want it to look exactly like that and if it doesn't look exactly like that then I failed. Alright that's looking pretty good to be honest. I think I'll take that. Just trying to make it as like the bottom as smooth as possible. I know this people are gonna say it because you're gonna have the the chocolate mixture on top but still right I think that's as good as we're gonna get to be honest. Right, so this gets put in the fridge for 20 minutes to harden. Right, oh. oh where's that space in this bloody fridge? Right, so heat the oven to 180, 160 fan. So either 180 degrees, 160 fan, or gas mark four, depending on what you need. And then I need to prick the base all over with a fork and bake in the center of the oven for 15 minutes until likely golden. Right, I'm gonna get the oven heated up now anyway, even though uh, the oven, because it's in the, the base is currently in the fridge, but even though I know the oven is not gonna take 20 minutes to heat up, might as well get ahead of myself. Right, um, and get that heating up. Meanwhile, melt the butter and chocolate together in a saucepan over a low heat. So, let me get a pan. This one will do. 
drugs. Oh, I'm just gonna that tray somewhere else. I've jumped on my stuff in the water. Definitely fine, I don't drink enough water um, at the moment. I'm supposed to be, but I just wanna keep remembering to, to sip my water. I might make an iced latte in a minute as well. Right, how much dark chocolate? 100 grams of dark chocolate. There we go. Right, and that can poured in there like that. Scrape out any of the remnants. Butter, 75 grams butter. There we go. Pop that in there. Right, I'm going to put this on the stove over here. Water. Um, over a low heat. Right, let me change that. Yeah, that's me done with the butter. So that can go in there. Um, stir in the sugar and flour. So how much sugar? 75 grams of sugar. I need plain flour for this. 50 grams of plain flour. It's really nice day outside, which is kind of why I want to go get this done as quickly as possible um, so that I can take the dog for a walk on the beach and just go out and get some sun. Right, let's tile that. Right, sugar. Sugar, da 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 da. Oh, honey, honey. Unplug the whisk. That can go down back in its box. Um, I'd probably be time lapsing on like this because I feel like I'm definitely not good. Do you want to come and say hello to your fans? Come here. Come here. Say hello to your loyal fans. He doesn't like being picked up like this, but can you say hello to your loyal fans? Yeah. Hmm. Right, there we go. There we go. Once melted, stir in the sugar and flour, then gradually beat in the eggs. Um, okay, I think I might take it off the heat and then uh, put it in there. I'm very aware that this clip is now like 35 minutes long but there will be sections that I'll cut out and edit and things, so it might not be quite that long. Um, but yeah, I find it's gonna be a very good vlog. Um, <coughs> ooh, sorry that I didn't film anything this morning. I was just hungover and um, was out and about and dashing about getting things. And I was like, the last thing I wanna do is whip out my camera and start filming things and also I, like just wasn't in the mood so that was that really um is there a video of this thing sometimes on the bbc good food they have a video of the um of the thing oh hello all right we've got an advert no, I don't want, I want to watch the video. Anyway, right, um, it's probably on it now and I don't want to think so. Right, hold on, I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna pause you and actually now I'm just gonna take you over there rather than pausing and starting again, because I can. Right, that is all good. I don't wanna start burning it though. So let's turn that off, take you off the heat. I'm gonna put you, down here like that there we go um get to, what's my oh no my sieve's got all wet oh well right pop that in there like that get out any remnants there we go uh, and gradually beat in the egg so i might get a whisk out from in here is it in here the whisk where's the whisk gone Where's our whisk gone? Oh, 
one egg. So I'm going to do one egg at a time. We're all ready to go. Right. So that is that. I'll get a couple of clips of me putting all the ingredients in and stuff. But um, I might end this clip here as we're verging on sort of 40 minutes. Um, which is probably going to make up the most of this vlog, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Um, but I think definitely the next, the video you're seeing of the week just been, and then this video, definitely going to be some hefty ones. So yeah, a lot of things for me to edit, but I don't necessarily mind that. But yeah, right. I'm going to put you down, get some clips of what's to come, um, and catch up with you in a bit. Easter Sunday um, and it's like 6 30 in the evening but I am currently out on a walk with the dog Ooh. Um, and it's a lovely evening as you can see from the sky behind me um, but yeah I haven't really vlogged anything today because um, yeah basically it's just been really hectic this morning just doing all the prep work and everything prepping all the vegetables and all that kind of stuff, you can just see the views around me of the lovely Suffolk countryside um, with all the sunset and stuff. My hair is going all over the place. Um, but yeah, I'm sat on a dog walk, thought I'd just get some like, some personal time um, that we've had family and everything going on in and out today and some friends dropped in for coffee first thing this morning um, as they were on their way. Um, but yeah. So um, it's just really nice with the sounds of, come on Summer, this way, um, with the sounds of the countryside in the background and actually to have a really nice sunny day. Lunch was really good, if I do say so myself, my own cooking. Um, but yeah, um, I think I've probably just before this clip, I would have inserted some other clips um i will show you the state of our kitchen um we've managed to clear the table and we kind of did that thing of like clearing the table and everything's ended up in the kitchen so um so yeah um and so our kitchen is currently a bit of a tip with like um basically everything's been dumped in there um but yeah um food everyone really enjoyed it um today i've eaten like a load of chocolate um and too much food so hopefully even though this is only going to be like a 20 minute half an hour walk hopefully i would have burnt off some of it <laughs> kind of maybe um but yeah currently out on a vlog my arm is getting oh i'm still not used to uh holding the camera just yet um but yeah um I've only literally had like, I know it's a, a, it's a Sunday and B, it's Easter Sunday, but our road has been notoriously quiet. I know we live down one of these sort of minor roads, but still, um, we are a connecting road between two like main roads and we have lots of farms on our road and um, often our road, we get, you know, a lot of traffic, through traffic on our road, um, which in some circumstances is is great um, because we are usually one of the first roads to be gritted when the snow and the ice come in the winter times um, but also less frequently um, because I mean it's less less of a good thing because we get so much traffic down here usually um, so sometimes it's not always great to be walking <laughs> taking the dog for a walk down the road um, and it's not a very exciting walk for her, but at least she gets something. I've got a car coming up behind me. Hold on, I'll be back. So yeah, as I was saying, basically traffic. I was literally saying we don't get any traffic down our road and two cars turn up and drive up behind me. And I'm not quite used to um, vlogging in public yet. Um, I think that would definitely come with time. Um, but yeah, um, had a really good day. Um, and the weather's been really nice and it's just been really nice and chilled and nothing too strenuous which is nice and people have just yeah it's been really relaxing and really nice and 
it's currently golden hour and um yeah it's been really nice so i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this walk i'm nearly home i've got like five minutes left of this walk but still it's been really nice and um yeah i'll show you some clips of our kitchen currently um and we've got a dishwasher running and all that kind of stuff so uh yeah